Hi, my name is Stephen Matos, and I'm going to show you how to use GarageBand with an external audio device, such as a microphone or a guitar. The purpose of this tutorial is to give you a basic understanding of GarageBand while allowing you to add your own instrumentation or voice to a recording. This could eventually be used in a presentation, a video, or even for your own personal use. Okay, let's get started. All the equipment used in this tutorial is available in the Media Hub or for loan from the Circulation Desk. A Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface, an XLR microphone cable, an SM57 microphone, a tabletop microphone stand, and if you're doing vocals, you might want to use a pop filter, which helps reduce the popping sound a voice makes when speaking or singing. This is how it's attached. Next, you'll want to attach the audio interface to the computer. This can be done via its USB cable, like so. You'll notice that it lights up when it's attached. That lets you know that the computer recognized the device. And lastly, we will install the XLR microphone cable from the microphone into the audio interface, like so. You will notice that the interface flashed green on the left channel. That means it recognized the microphone. Okay, we are ready to start up GarageBand and start recording. You will notice in GarageBand version 10 that it opens the previous project you were working on. We will want to close this out and start a new project by selecting Command N on your keyboard. Next, the GarageBand project window will open up. You will notice that you have options for various projects that you can work on that are more customizable, such as a songwriting or a hip hop track or a keyboard track. But for this tutorial, we're gonna be using the empty project which will start you with one track which was created from the microphone and the audio interface. Next you'll be prompted how you want to record. GarageBand gives you four options. One being you can record with a microphone or a line input, which is how we will be recording. You can also play sounds from your Mac which will make your actual keyboard into a musical keyboard. And you can plug your guitar directly into the audio interface and use GarageBand as an amp. And finally, you can add drum accompaniment to the track that you are creating. Okay, let's open our track. You'll notice below that you will want to select input one because that's what the microphone is plugged into in your audio interface. And you'll notice GarageBand recognizes the Scarlett 2i2 as an instrument connected. You can then click create. The control panel will then pop up. It's important to note that you check the audio input and output device. I can show you how to do this. First, go up to GarageBand then Preferences, then Audio MIDI, and then in the input, you want to select the Scarlett 2i2 USB, which is the audio interface that we are using. And for output device, right now it's set to Soundflower, which is software that allows us to create this tutorial while also recording audio with GarageBand. But for everyday recordings, the built-in output for the output device will be fine since it enables you to hear the track in playback through GarageBand. Okay, I'll select Soundflower for now and close this out and we'll be all set. Next, I'd like to show you the central panel since it'll be used in this project and every project after this. First, you have Rewind button, Fast Forward button, Back to the Beginning button, as you can see, the Play button, the Record button, and in the center here, this is the Beats and Measures display. It'll show you the beats per minute, as well as the key signature, which says C major, and the time signature, which says 4-4 time. You can also set this to display your track in time by hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay, let's begin recording our first track. I recommend that you select the count in and click track buttons. The count in will give you a four beat count before the recording starts to get you ready. And the click track helps guide you with the proper tempo. Okay, I'm about to create a track of me snapping my fingers.
Just gonna click record. As you can hear, the click track helps me snap my fingers to the beat in the right tempo. Okay, I think that's a good enough test sample. Now you can go back and unclick the count in and the click track buttons. And then go ahead and press play. Okay, we have successfully used an audio interface to create a brief track. In the next video, I will show you how to add this track to a song we created in GarageBand. And if you would like more in-depth information on GarageBand, you can check out lynda.com. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any other questions, you can contact us at askalibrarian at lists.providence.edu or at dps.providence.edu. Thank you very much.